So, how was Watches and Wonders? How was to be back after three years? It was great to see people without masks. <laughs> Not the. Uh, it, it was fun because we uh, the the feeling was we we saw uh, we see friend after a year and do a mm. swap together and the the mood was very very good and very positive. Um, that was for the mood, but in terms of uh, of business, it was also very great. And uh, yeah, we are happy, uh, good mood, good business. We are already on track. Great. I've noticed that you had uh, absolutely, let's use the Roger to be word, a hyper booth at uh, Watches and Wonders. That's absolutely amazing. Um, but you also had an absolutely amazing piece. And I think for this one, hyper is not even enough to describe how actually cool it is. Um, so you have aesthetics and craftsmanship um, intertwined in a way that it's uh, very hard to, to find in, the, in, in these days, even if there are a lot of brands that are working with the latest technologies and a lot of interesting and innovative designs. Roger Dubuis stands aside a little bit with something more, a little bit more spectacular, more for people that wants to be a little bit more different than just have pure horology or pure crafts. And this is something where Roger Dubuis excels. Um, how do you how do you manage to 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 find the best materials, and how do you manage to go from the creative process to the to the to the end design because the materials uh, impose a lot of restrictions no it impose a, a lot of opportunities <laughs> true it's one way to 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 put it what were the obstacles to to create the the knights of the rind table the 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 story about the night of the round table is very interesting because uh, in fact the product is very inspirational. Now, when we put uh, we start the discussion with everyone, uh, I think everyone has an, an idea of interpretation of the night of the round table. That's it's, it's really a big success. Huh? Mm. Uh, at the beginning, the story was uh, we wanted to create a story link to the name of the collection because the name of the collection was uh, Excalibur and Excalibur is the sword of King Arthur mm. and the story uh, starts like this and the idea was to create a very uh, art pieces and um, we wanted to create our own craftsmanship is the reason why we start with micro engraving. Mm -hmm. The idea was also um, to um, to play with uh, with 3D because it's really linked to the DNA of the brand, particularly with the skeleton. And the first piece was uh, uh, very interesting because we we chose to have um, uh, we use a very small movement, it's a small autom uh, automatic movement, and we put the night out around the mm. reason why the, the night is very big mm. and that was the beginning of the story and very uh, quickly after the first edition um, it was very important to to come with a more modern approach and it is the the the, the year we we come with two um, it was the second generation mm. and we Murano glasses to have color, and I will explain to you why the Murano glasses. And the second element, it was to play with low poly uh, night. And that changed totally the the mood uh, of the of the, the the appealing of the piece mm. because this was more modern in terms of aesthetic, more eye catching, and more rigid. And uh, it is the beginning of the success. The reason of the why we use Morano glasses is uh, we started with sapphire. 
but sapphire okay. sapphire is not possible to have uh, each color it's not possible to develop all color the reason of the choice of transparent matter it was to continue with the 3d effect mm. to bring more depth exactly and we start with sapphire Uh, that won't for, uh, work for the question of color. After we, we play with crystal, we play, uh, we play with glass. But the only possibility to have very good quality in terms of quality on color, it, it's the Murano glasses. And that it's linked to the process of the Murano glasses because the temperature decreases very slowly after you, you put in, mm. the, in high temperature. And with that, All the small bubbles go out. It's the reason why the, the matter is very transparent, the quality is really good, and this is the reason why finally we use the Murano glasses. And now we continue to play with this, uh, this material because it's very interesting for transparency and for the, the possibility to develop any color. Mm -hmm. And the, the reason behind uh, these specific uh, colors? The, the the purple mm. yeah. we chose purple the reason is because everyone when we we uh, I, I show the product say oh no no purple no purple, purple <laughs> is okay. but purple is, is the, for us it's the right color of this year um, particular for this kind of technology because it's the it's color very, of emperors exactly <laughs> <laughs> Very difficult to achieve. Also, mm. it's so one of the reasons why nobody used this color, and we like to play with that and to challenge ourselves to, to find solution to to achieve what the other brown didn't achieve. So even even if uh, in a in a very simple material like Murano glass, you go with the maximum technical uh, achievement possible. Yes. Typic uh, Roger Dubuis. <laughs> um, how is the how is the mechanics built? Because uh, I remember I saw some pictures and I see that it's a very multi layering technique using uh, using this uh, movement surrounded by the the knights and the, um, and the glass on on the and the glass on top, which is coming a little bit with the hands that are underneath, and it's a very interesting. Uh, design where you can you really have to look for the hands if you don't know what to, you are looking for. How is technical possible? How is this realized? The the idea on the choice of the the tourbillon first I think is important. First reason is um, because the the quest of the Knight of the Round Table is the Holy Graal. Our quest in watchmaking industry is the fight. It's to fight the gravity. Mm. It's the why we chose the tourbillon. And we did that since long time ago. Sim simple tourbillon, double tourbillon, double balance wheel, four mm. balance wheel. Is really uh, our obsession. It is our goal. And it was very interesting to use these pieces to show that. Why central tourbillon? Two reasons. Uh, the first one is the very concentric uh, watches, the Uh, the the night of the round table. It's the reason why the the, the complication. Uh, mm. fit. On the last element, the tourbillon have the big advantage to to uh, put a lot of pieces. All the going train is in a very small. Uh, uh, it's very compressed. Mm. For that, it's very interesting because we have the tourbillon in the center. And it's possible after to have all the parts around the tourbillon to play with the dial on the night. And for that, we develop, I think it's eight la uh, layer of uh, dial. Um, and we develop specific uh, um, uh, bell, uh, ball bearing, mm -hmm. the possibility to, to, um, to put ends Uh, around and we have one layer is the Murano glasses to have a, a effect uh, to have a, the color one uh, one is a sapphire glasses to put the end mm. Murano sapphire glasses to, to put the minute end and that's it's uh, really a multi-layer 
uh, approach on the ID. It's the 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 block. If you see the block to 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 indicate the the time, the mm. index, uh, it's behind the the Murano uh, part. You have a very uh, very coherent design. And at the end, it's a bit complicated to read the time, <laughs> but uh, it's uh, it's really not the the. It's possible uh, to read the time. It's a bit complicated, and uh, every client uh, saw the the real watch. There, it is not the objective to read the time with this watch. It's really a piece of art, uh, and f- very expressive. Very incredible, and for that, it's really uh, to read the time. It's, it's an interesting option, but not an objective. <laughs> but it, I still find the uh, legibility quite good on this one. Uh, but I was wondering from from the design, um, what was the, the the measure taken to to um, counterbalance the the hands because I think they are quite heavy. Um, and this might affect especially on, on, uh, high performance. So let's say we are doing some sports and so on. This could, uh, um, let's say, uh, affect a little bit the, the stability of the, of the oscillating, uh, how, how was the, the, what's the technical solution find to stabilize this, uh, for chronometric reasons? It's a very good question, and you have the first one to ask me that, because the it is it was very a big challenge, and um, that it's linked to the inertia of the balance wheel, because we compare the inertia of the hands on mm-hmm. the of the balance wheel, and after it's a bit complex, and it's a question of speed when your balance wheel move little. Uh, um, your balance will move, your escapement will move a little bit. Mm. That we calculate the the influence of the. Uh, it's not the influence; it's the timing of the the move of the escapement wheel. That impacts the move of the end, the minute end. Mm. And very important to to balance that. We we did a trip prototype of the product uh, with a very small inertia at the beginning, but in terms of performance, it was not good. But we increased the inertia, and for that, the influence of the end, the end was, uh, today it's okay, the influence is, is, uh, is, uh, is not... Uh, is mm-hmm. not it's minimal. But, yeah, it's minimal. But it's really linked to the inertia of the balance wheel. Mm. Very interesting. And do we try it to 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 have a good balance with the 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 end because it's a sapphire we put element in gold, but we try to to don't put too many gold mm. uh, up to have a uh, yes equilibrium equilibrium e- equilibrium yes yeah. a balanced design a balanced a technical balance technical balance. Mm. It would be very interesting to see for the future. You can, if you can introduce uh, some kind of animation uh, to the, uh, let's say, the ornaments, the Murano glass, or to the uh, to the knights uh, themselves. But this this means going to the automaton area, and that's uh, that's completely another story. Like you said, huh? I start with that. Huh? The beauty of the night of the round table is everyone has an ID. You are new glasses, <laughs> incredible uh, tools. Mm. And for sure, our ID this year was really to to uh, to put the two worlds of Roger Dubuis, the, the hyper-expressivity of the night of the round table, and the hyper-watchmaking, because we are watchmakers. Uh, and to put the boat together. But for sure, for the future, we will continue to use uh, Murano glasses for the product because mm-hmm. we have the knowledge now to use that with different kind of interpretation. But the color is very interesting. On the second thing, for sure, with the success we uh, we, uh, we we have been uh, 
uh, we had during the, the, the fair about the complication linked to the night of the uh, table, for sure, we want to develop more complication in the future. Mm -hmm. You have uh, another at uh, Watches and Wonders, you launch another, let's say, legendary piece in the Excalibur. You launch the, the Mono Balancier, which has a, a very interesting and again, a pure breed Roger Dubuy piece. Uh, you combine skeletonization with very interesting materials uh, and with, let's say, brute force design um, because the impact is very, very strong on this one. Um, what are the difficulties you, you you encounter when you have to use when you want to implement this kind of design, but on the same on the same time you go very traditional, and you have the Ponson de Genève. How can this go hand in hand? It is the so beauty. well. <laughs> It's the beauty of the brand, and I think one of the biggest uh, specificity and uh, we love to play with these two uh, uh, crazy world crazy it's a, it's a, we are a bit um, uh, schizophrenic because we we play with the hyper design hyper creativity in terms of aesthetic but we respect the tradition of watchmaking with the mm. gymnast mm. and that was the vision of Mr. Dubuis himself All the time, he said to me, Greg, be innovant. Sh shake the rules of the watchmaking, but respect the tradition. And the Geneva seal is really a part of the DNA of the brand. And I think today it's a good thing because in terms of legitimacy, it's really great because it's not mm. the easy to, to have the Geneva seal. It's not the easy way to have a certif external certification for your Clearly. Mm. Yeah. But we take this away, and for me, I fight for that because I don't need to fight with the guys in the manufacturing. You want to reduce the cost. I don't need to fight for our client. It is the Geneva seal to fight with the production, <laughs> maintain a very high level of quality. Mm -hmm. But that is good because uh, I, with that, I can focus more about creativity Um, to, to see the, 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 the direction for the brand because the Geneva is a philosophy today. Uh, I think that should be not possible for, for us. That should be very complex uh, to develop a new movement without the Geneva mm. how, how do you manage? Because it's always, uh, at Roger Dubuis, it's always um, not half-half, but it always, you have creativity, you have... Um, powerful mechanics how is one of them overpowering the the other one is the creative process first and the technical second or how how are this uh, combined in the let's say in the language of the of the brand we like to say in Roger Duby the technique it's at the service of aesthetic it is the reason why the product is very specific mm. we we The, 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 the technique is a playground. We have knowledge about Geneva seal, about eye, eye complication, about everything. And after, Murano glass is another example. Micro engraving is another example. That is our tools. Mm. Um, we use these different tools to create a crazy watches. But we don't hesitate to, modif uh, to modify a little bit the, 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 the technique to have a beautiful product. And uh, I have a good example. This morning, we developed a, a movement for the future. Um, after three months of development, of study, I say, hey, stop, that don't work. It was in terms of aesthetic. The, mm -hmm. the, tech, the element was not in the right place. And uh, we postponed the project, and we start from scratch, but with uh, a different approach in terms of technique to, mm -hmm. to act the expressivity of the brand. And it's all the time the nightmare of my team. When I travel, when I, I go to the fair, to the Watch and Wonder, I, dis I discuss with clients on the, the, the specificity. I, I am directly in contact to the client. From the co I take the point from the client to the, 
the watchmaker directly. And that it's really sometimes complex for the team to manage. Mm. Yeah, because the vision change a little bit. But uh, in fact, I think with that, we are very close to the vision of our clients, to the, the, the feeling or to the trend, to the evolution of the trend. Mm. Besides besides creativity, besides um, uh, creativity also in the mechanical side, you work a lot with uh, very interesting materials. We talk about uh, the Murano grass but you have also very interesting choice for for instance you have the eon gold for the for the case and i would like to to if you can tell me more a little bit about this one and also very interesting materials that you are use inside of the movement like the tungsten rotor for the for the micro rotor that is a question of philosophy i like to compare normal normally the the watchmaking industry uh, like to create re-edition of watches. Mm. For us, our vision is very different. Our vision is more linked to the business of uh, automotive. If I compare a BMW in 2010 and I compare to the BMW today, in, ter in terms of design, you see improvement. In terms of technology, you see improvement. In terms of uh, um, um, uh, efficiency, you see improvement. That is our philosophy. And for us, it's not possible to to come with a new product with the old specification. Mm. That Aeon Gold is one of the elements. Because it's important to the, 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 the watch on the, the, the content of the watch today, it's very different than 10, year, 10 years ago. <laughs> That's why we improve the quality of the gold. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important to for us to have a non-tarnishing gold. It's a small improvement, but in fact, we must to, to do that. <coughs> Sorry. It's okay. We must to do that. Um, other thing, the quick release system it's possible to change very quickly the strap. And 10 years ago, it's, it's what may be an option. Today mm. is not that way. Like the GPS in the car industry, it's some element must to be to 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 be to to become to, normal. Let's say exactly. Aeon Gold is that. Another thing is the we work with this product to the inertia of the balance wheel. Because inertia is very interesting. I give you an example. You are on the street. A bike comes at 10 kilometers. It's possible for you to stop the bike. Okay? If you are in, in the street, a truck comes at 10 kilometers. It's not possible to stop the truck. The only difference is the inertia between the, the balance, uh, the, between the, the bike and the truck. Mm. That show you the impact of the, the inertia to the external element. It's the reason why it was important for us to increase the inertia. And with that, we, uh, when you increase the inertia, but we have the same energy, it's important to work on the efficiency of the, of the, of the going trend. It's the reason why we use silicon diamond coating mm. uh, to increase this uh, inertia but we need to, to to work also in the automatic part it's the reason why we mix tungsten on gold we use the material where it's necessary to use we don't use material for for marketing for fun but, uh, yeah exactly the idea was to increase the inertia to have a better gravity and shock resistant mm. and for that we use material where um, where is useful on that it's uh, the the material is the tools is not an objective mm. you uh, you mentioned uh, automotive and in uh, um, your previous words uh, you had uh, you still have a lot of collaboration with with Lamborghini and, and Pirelli uh, how this very strong and we can say 
rare houses work to, together because the the uh, Pirelli, the the high spot. Okay, we have Pirelli on most of our uh, um, automobiles, but the high performance part of the Pirelli is not something accessible for for everyday people. Just like Lamborghini, just like Roger Dubuis. How these uh, maisons work so good together? Lamborghini, the the, the approach, the two approaches is very different. Lamborghini, uh, we have fun together. It's not necessary to explain the partnership, and uh, <laughs> we 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 love to work together, and it's really a, a partnership. It's a question of people. We have fun together, and we have a lot of ideas. We have meeting each month, uh, each each two months, uh, to to develop the product, the new generation of product. That it's fun. It's mm-hmm. really really uh, it's really fun. Um, and it's the reason why that works because each time we see each other, we suggest, ah, you must to try that or try that. And it's all the time a, a very good discussion. It's very normal. It's not, a, we don't work together because we sign a paper. We work together because uh, you enjoy each other. Um, purely is a, is a bit different. We work with purely for experience. Uh, linked to the Formula One, and it's really great. But also, um, in terms of R&D, because um, Purely is one of the most innovative brands in terms of rubber. Mm. Uh, and we we work since five years, five of, uh, yes, five years to, uh, together, and we increase the quality of our rubber. Um, before it was only possible to have one kind of rubber for strap. For example, for Formula One tire, is seven kind of rubber. Today, in our strap, it's possible to have um, two time two type of rubber, and to show that we use different color, mm. one blue, and we we play with the aesthetic. That was possible. With the partner, uh, the, the collaboration with uh, with Spiel. and we work for the future to develop specific rubber because in watchmaking industry we use the same rubber since year on year to develop specific rubber with specific speci- uh, specification, uh, specific feature linked to to the comfort, linked to uh, to some nice uh, tweak or nice option. But that will be not for for this year. Certainly, the the next year. Mm. So, uh, talking about the future, you can share more of the what uh, development in uh, Roger Dubuis will bring to the market in the next year. What will your direction, let's say? It what you can important. share, of course. <laughs> uh, very important to clean our assortment, and we take the, the three years of the COVID. Mm. Um, to develop the facelift, um, that was good. And now our assortment is really clean. Um, the the mono balancier was the first step, and it was also important to come in the same time with the creativity of the night of non debris because that it's really a part of the DNA of the brand. And for the future, we will come with a more uh, expressive. An incredible watch on movement. It is the vision where we want to go. Because our assortment today is clean, we are okay for for five years uh, <laughs> for the Pono Balancier. Uh, because we 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 wait a little bit to before coming with a new facelift, like mm-hmm. account. You know, it's uh, between seven and t- ten days. Uh, and for that, we will use all our energy to come with very, very creative pieces. Mm. And um, there is a lot of talking going on, especially with uh, in in uh, the last years about um, sustainability, about uh, upcycling, recycling, uh, neutral carbon footprint, and everything that uh, goes, uh, especially for our kids' future. Um, how is Roger Dubuis situated in 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 this 
like I, I said on link to the technology or link to the technology, we don't use marketing for marketing or topic for marketing. I give you a small example. In the spider collection, we never use uh, alligator strap. Since three years, we stopped to develop product with alligator strap. We never talk about that. Mm-hmm. We have a lot of, um, of action like this because it, it, uh, it is our duty to do that. It's for our children. But we don't want to, to focus our communication about that. It's not an objective. It's a, it is a consequence. Mm. And the idea is really to continue uh, in this way. Uh, we will continue to, to change some element in our product, but it is not our main element in terms of communication, but we work a lot linked to that. Uh, because I have a child, and uh, it's important for me also to 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 take care of what we will uh, what we will uh, give uh, to him in the future. But I, I think it's a responsibility to everyone, and we do something. Uh, we will develop a specific carbon, new carbon, the rubber. We come also with a new kind of rubber linked to this element, mm. but not our one of our axes of communication before because we prefer to be totally clean before communicate and we have a lot of things to to say uh, quality improvement uh, technology expressivity and after we, we must to make choice in terms of communication and today is really not uh, mm. the one of our main focus but we work so it's a, it's a, like we said uh, previously, it's part of the normality to have these exactly. things. Exactly. Part of the normal evolution and the logical evolution and a mandatory thing that you do because you must do it and not because you want to look nice uh, in, in a press release. Exactly. At the end, if we do nothing, I think uh, maybe not the next year, but in two years or four years, uh, my big boss will come and say, uh, you do nothing, uh, you go out. <laughs> <laughs> he will come and say, uh, you do nothing. Uh, no, <laughs> we do a lot, but we we don't talk a lot. Hmm. But it's important because it's really a trend and it's really a normality, like you said. Hmm. Great. These are, these are very good news. Thank you very much for your time. It was a pleasure to talk with you. <laughs>